Hi guys, what are we doing today? We're making farmer's cheese. Have any of you made farmer's cheese before? I'm looking at you. Emily. So I have to admit, I have made farmer's cheese before. Yes. So I'm going to take a back seat and I'm going to watch what you <laughs> and you come up with. I'll be the voice of wisdom. Just Is way, there problem solving? Way back, Is way there back. problem solving? Way back, like W H E Y. Yes. Oh. Way. Way. Cheese puns have begun. <laughs> Can someone do the today on librarian's experiment, please? Someone has more experience with that. Erin, do it. Today on librarian's experiment, we're making farmer's cheese. The end. Let's start. Okay. We have Emily. We have Erin. We have Laura, who is new. Welcome, Laura. Yay! Woo! She doesn't know what she's gotten into. <laughs> Woo! All right. We have made buttermilk. Uh, so you gotta do three cups, right? What? Three cups of it. I, what? It doesn't say that. I will be adding half teaspoon of vinegar and then filling the rest of the cup measure with milk. I'm concerned milk. about you dumping this entire thing into... It's possible, but I'm so glad you're recording because then we'll just get it on film. Ooh, yeah, totally. I totally did that. <laughs> well, that bad. It's good, it's pretty good. Good, good, good work, Erin. Now we are replete with so we can start heating up the milk. Well, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a wrong way to pour milk? I heard it look that way so much. Have you ever seen so much milk? <laughs> so what are we what are we trying to take it to here? What time 180. Are we? we could talk about our cheese experiences. Oh yeah, I like this. Do I have any? I have one. I bought some Parmesan this weekend. That's my cheese experience. Okay, do you have a cheese experience, Laura? I have never made any cheese before, but my favorite is cheddar. So yes. no cheese experience. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on me. I don't think I have a cheese. I like eating cheese. I've always really wanted to make cheese, but this is about the most complicated I've ever gotten. So maybe this will propel me into making something. Are you going to become a cheese maker? Tell I the could. truth. I could. I could at any point. You have a, you have the best. My family makes cheese. Well, they made cheese. Booyah. They, they're Palio cheese sticks. That well, I mean, you know, just all mozzarella. Okay, that's what they made. One day I'm going to make a documentary about it, and I'm going to call it Mozza Fellas. <laughs> That's all I know. Yeah, my, my whole family makes cheese. But I have never done it. Ten, right? Ten tablespoons of vinegar, according to Emily, who apparently knows everything. Then and remaining nine tablespoons of vinegar. Sorry, nine. But we just put three in there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Librarians experiment, so did they do math? Seven in here? Vinegar into each one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then yeah. it's nine so then it's left. one and a half. Yeah, okay. So got nine, it, got nine left. Just nine. Got it, got it, got it. Nine tablespoons of vinegar. Go back, go back, rewind. Okay, the next step we're going to do is add the buttermilk and the vinegar to the heated up milk and hopefully stir it just a little bit and the curds will separate from the whey. So it should be a pretty obvious thing that happens. Otherwise we've completely messed it up, which is possible. Okay, so we wanna say thank you to Haniella. Um, her YouTube channel is amazing and we stole the recipe from her. But thank you Haniella. Check out her YouTube channel because she makes some amazing decorated cookies and she makes farmer's cheese too. 
180. So I think you should probably. I think it's time. It. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to burn it. On the yellow, what do we do? And the burrow. Yep. Stir. Oh my god. This is exciting. Add Apple? remaining vinegar. Add remaining vinegar. That's the swap we'll do it. And then it should magically transform. I mean, it's definitely bubbling a lot. I think it's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. So We're that doing. yellow liquid is whey and the white clumps are curds. Yeah. Look at that all That's happening. Wow, that stop. is a smell. <laughs> so we don't need to stir it anymore? No, nope, you can stop because it's already happened. And then we're going to give it um, 10 to 15 minutes. Let the curdled milk sit undisturbed for 10 to 15. So you can use the whey as replacement liquid in soups, like as stock. You can use it as a replacement liquid for water in breads, um, oh. really wherever you want. It is very, very high in protein, so it's very good for you. So we just want to we'll drain through that. I think we need to do one more. Great. Okay. <laughs> Girl, we made cheese! Look how cheesy that looks. Super cheesy. Yeah. Oh, it went wow. pop like cheese does. <laughs> we actually made quite a bit. I didn't think it was going to make that much. Well, there are four of us. It's like an air This is my survey. portion. <laughs> God, it's killing me. I think you're just doing that on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, we should pull that out. So let's, yeah. let's just toss. Okay. So this has to sit for four to eight hours, I think it said. So at least, right? We're gonna leave it and we're gonna check back on it tomorrow. Yay! We're amazing yet again. <laughs> My Mary's experiment. Da da. Personally. I have a question though. Yes. If I were to eat it now. Like Do it. It tastes good. Like a little, yeah, it's warm cheese. Does it remind you? What what cheese does it remind you of? Oh, it's like a boring mozzarella. <laughs> I like that. I wish we brought the salt. Up. Oh yeah, it's a lot harder now. How it's very dense now. It tastes like milk. But I can tell it's on the way. It's on the way to cheese. It's very polio string oh, cheese. Oh, get out of it's here. It's like string cheese, but not stringy. Oh, it does remind me of polio. Does it? Yeah, I like that. That's good. Oh, heck yeah. All right, don't watch me eat cheese. <laughs> if we turn it this way, it'll be more beautiful. <gasps> look, oh, it looks like look cheese. we made cheese. <laughs> Cut it? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Salted oh, it up, That's oh, very good. It's like mozzarella, but softer. That's good. I like how you yeah. describe it as a boring mozzarella. Like, I feel like that's it's, accurate. Yeah, it's bland mozzarella. The salt, you need the salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that would be really good with like balsamic and tomato Ooh, and basil. Yeah. Caprese salad, yeah. Like in Ooh. the place of a ricotta. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Like in a. It's a little stiffer than a ricotta, which is nice. But like if you're gonna put it in like a lasagna. Yeah. Or as a year or something. Dang. We have cheese. We have, we have made cheese. We have cheese in here now. So Erin, what's in this Tupperware? Oh, yeah. Let's find out my Tupperware. So I cooked pasta last night. Yay. Little bow tie. Mm -hmm. I cooked the pasta in two thirds whey, one third water. It, worked really well. It doesn't taste any different. It seemed to cook a little faster than I was expecting. Great, cool. And then I have some veggies in there. So I have canned tomatoes, onion, capers, and artichokes. The recipe called for reserving the tomato liquid and the artichoke liquid, and I have the, that with whey. doesn't really affect the taste too much. It's very tangy because it's got tomatoes and artichokes and capers in there but you know it's very flavorful it's very good and then I put some parmesan on top just to you know just to have some cheese in there too <laughs> so it worked really well so I never thought I couldn't pasta with it that's cool yeah I, I looked it up online because I, I had it as an idea and it's really good because 
you do need a lot of liquid for the pasta to like submerge in. So I could have used the whole gallon for just that. Oh God, mush here. <laughs> yeah. We made cheese, people. We made cheese. You don't know the way. Yes, I do. do you know the way? I know the way.